Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Aruna Dimes Biology. Today we are going to learn about the reflex actions in our video from control and coordination chapter. Reflex actions from control and coordination. Okay, let us learn what is meant by reflex action. Before that we have to know about some of the other actions which are taking place in our body. So in case of human beings, of course in case of animals also, three types of actions takes place in their body. Three types of actions uh, takes place. First one is a voluntary action. So these actions are taking place with our knowledge. These actions takes place with our consciousness. So we will, we will to do it. So we will do it. So these type of actions taking place in our body are called as uh, voluntary actions. For example, walking, running, reading a book writing on the blackboard so all these are uh, the actions which takes place with our knowledge which takes place with our consciousness we want to do them that's why we are doing them so those type of actions are called as voluntary actions okay second one are involuntary actions involuntary means the actions which are not voluntary in nature these actions takes place uh, without our control these actions takes place without our knowledge without our consciousness so those type of uh, involuntary those type of actions are called as involuntary actions examples are uh, like uh, heartbeat so at present our heart is beating of course we are we don't want to do it we are not controlling that isn't it those actions are not under our control it is beating continuously in order to pump the blood food material is digesting in our stomach and intestine without our knowledge isn't it so we can't control it we can we can't stop it or we can't make it fast so those type of actions taking place in our body without our control are called as involuntary actions okay third type of actions are reflex actions so these actions takes place within fraction of seconds in our body they take place involuntary without our knowledge only but they will uh, be taking place within a fraction of second so that type of sudden involuntary and immediate actions or responses are called as reflex actions for example withdrawing our hand from a hot object of course it is an involuntary action but it is taking place within fraction of seconds now that's why we can call that action as a reflex action so immediately you have to withdraw your hand from a hot object otherwise what happens our hand will get burnt so still some more examples are there which are taking place in our daily life some more reflex actions which are taking place in our daily life see i jumped out of the way of the bus reflexly so you are jumping out of the running bus reflexly without your knowledge you pulled your hand back from the flame reflexly so unexpectedly you put your hand on a flame and you withdraw it unexpectedly only, reflexly only. I was so hungry, my mouth started watering reflexly. So I am so hungry now. So my mouth waters immediately when I see a food material. So all these are the reflexes which we experience in our daily life. So these actions or these responses are involuntary and they are uh, taking place within fraction of seconds also without our knowledge. We are not controlling them. Okay, so those type of reflex actions uh, are uh, taking place in our body and these reflex actions help us to save us from dangers actually. So what is the purpose of these actions in our body? These actions uh, save us from dangers. For example, you are walking in bushes. Suddenly you saw a snake. What you will do? You will run out of, run away from it, isn't it? Run away from that place. So without your knowledge, without thinking about it for some time isn't it if you think about it for some time it will get later you may you might get the bite of a snake isn't it so these actions need a immediate responses those type of actions are called as a reflex actions actually there are three components in our nervous system brain spinal cord and nerves these are the three components of our nervous system among them brain is very very important it is the main component of our nervous system which will uh, take decisions in our body whatever that action may be either it is involuntary action or voluntary action they were under the control of brain actually so voluntary actions and involuntary actions both the actions were under the control of brain whatever happens in the body first the brain will detect that action detect that stimulus analyzes that information and gives responses okay so this brain is made up of a bundle of nerve cells so brain is made up of 
so many nerve cells and it is present in our skull region it is present in our skull region protected in a box like structure called as a cranium okay and it is decision making organ no so it will take some time to take decisions actually okay whatever it may be voluntary or involuntary action first the action will be sent to brain brain will analyze that information receives that information analyzes that information and gives responses accordingly so meanwhile what happens it will take some time okay so involuntary and voluntary actions will be under our uh, brain control but third action reflex actions are there no these actions need immediate responses isn't it so these actions takes place during dangerous situations and they need immediate responses so these actions uh, were not under the control of our brain why because brain will take some time to take decisions if reflex actions were also under our, the, under the control of our brain it will take some time to save us from danger no meanwhile what happens it might get late and we will uh, be attacked by that uh, dangerous situation so that's why these reflections are reflex actions were not under the control of brain instead they are under the control of spinal cord spinal cord spinal cord means that is nothing it is extension of our brain it is like the trunk of our brain elephant trunk is there no just like that the trunk of our brain is called as the extension of our brain is called as a spinal cord it is present in the vertebral column of our body vertebral column okay it is also made up of bundle of nerve cells nerve cells it exclusively controls the reflex actions so these reflex actions are are under the control of a spinal cord if any dangerous situation is detected around us they that message will be sent to spinal cord first spinal cord will analyze that information and gives responses within fraction of seconds next third component is nerves nerves so nerves are present everywhere in our body they are connected to both brain and spinal cord these nerves will take informations from outside that means they will take stimulus from outside and brings them to brain and spinal cord for decisions and they will also take responses from brain and spinal cord and gives to the targeting organ so that is the function of nerves they will take stimulus and they will take responses take stimulus to brain and spinal cord brings responses from brain and spinal cord to organs so totally there are three organs in our body brain it will take all the decisions in our body both involuntary and voluntary but they need some time reflex actions need immediate responses you know that's why these are under the control of our spinal cord and nerves are present in both brain and uh, spinal cord coming to reflex arc reflex uh, arc single pathway going up to spinal cord from detect us and returning to effect us is called as reflex arc the pathway of reflex action is called reflex arc the journey of reflex action is called as reflex arc so there are detectors in our body detectors means the organs which detect that uh, reflex action from outside for example uh, when we touch a hot object here the detector is our hand we are touching the hot object with our hand so our hand is the, the detector here which will uh, take the information of that hot object into our body uh, take another example we will uh, shut our eyes when bright light is focused on our uh, eyelids so here the detector is eye it is the one which is taking bright light from outside so the organs or the nerves which it takes a stimulus uh, related to reflex actions from outside is called as a detector okay so these detectors will take that information to spinal cord actually spinal cord gives responses no that response will be returned to effector organ effector organs means target organs the organs which have to respond are called as effector organs so in the first example when we touch a hot object here the effector organ is our hand only so immediately we have to withdraw our hand from the hot object so here our hand is the effector organ which has to respond and uh, closing our eyes when bright light focuses on our eyes here the effector organ is our eyelids they will shut our eyes from the bright light isn't it 
so likewise the detectors first take the information to spinal cord spinal cord analyzes and gives information within fraction of seconds you now that response will be taken to effector organs so that pathway of uh, the journey of the reflex action in our body is called as the reflex arc single pathway going up to spinal cord from detectors and returning to effectors is called reflex arc let us explain about it briefly by showing uh, a diagram okay here the situation is touching a hot object touching a hot vessel okay here actually reflex arc contains five components five components first one is a receptor second sensory neuron third relay neuron fourth motor neuron and fifth one is effector organ so these are the five components of reflex arc which receives stimulus and uh, produces response okay first receptor is the organ which receives stimulus from outside receptor is the organ which receives information from outside sensory organ is the sorry sensory neuron is the nerve cell which takes the information of reflex action to spinal cord and relay neuron will analyze that information and gives responses okay relay neuron is present in spinal cord which receives the information from sensory neuron analyzes it and gives responses and that response will be taken over by this motor neuron this motor neuron will take response from the relay neuron and gives it to the effector organ fifth component effector organ means the target organ the organ which have to respond for the reflex action is a effector organ so this motor neuron will give that response to effector organ so this is a these are the five components of a reflex arc let us see how this will happen so we have touched a hot object here the receptors are uh, the skin present on our hand of course our fingers our hand or the skin present on our hand so the receptors first take that uh, stimulus from outside okay and gives that information to this uh, sensory neuron sensory neuron sensory neuron will take this information what is that information you have touched a hot object so sensory neuron will take that information from receptor and gives it to spinal cord the relay neurons in the spinal cord will first receives uh, that information from sensory neuron they will analyze it and gives the response that is a uh, withdraw your hand from the hot object otherwise your hand will get burnt they will give that response relay neuron will give that response to motor neuron so the motor neuron will take this information that take this response from a relay neuron and passes this information to the effector organ effector organ is the organ which have to react there which organ has to respond here our hand only which is in contact with this hot object so this motor neuron will uh, gives it uh, gives this response to the muscles of our hand so muscles uh, will take that response and immediately contracts and they will help in uh, uh, withdrawing our hand from that hot object so this is what happens in our body during uh, reflex actions so this is the pathway of our uh, reflex actions this is the journey of our reflex actions so that journey is called as a reflex uh, arc so take another example when bright light focuses on our eyes we will immediately shut our eyelids so in this uh, dangerous situation Oh, what happens in reflex arc bright light focuses on our eyes now here eyes are receptors so eyes receives that information passes it to sensory neuron sensory neuron will take that information to spinal cord the relay neurons in the spinal cord analyzes that information and gives a responses what is that response shut your eyelids so that response will be taken by the motor neuron from a relay neuron in spinal cord so this motor neuron will take that response to the target organ here the target organ is eyelids so the motor neuron will give that response to eyelids our eyelids will shut our eyes and uh, protect our retina from bright light so that is uh, about the reflex actions and reflex arc taking place in our uh, body so that is our video so today in our video we have learnt about different type of actions taking place in our body especially reflex actions okay we have learnt about their definitions we have learnt about their journeys also that means we have learnt about their pathways also okay if you have any confusion or if you have any doubts please feel free to ask me in comment section i will clarify your doubts 
if you uh, find this video useful to you please like this video and share to your friends thank you so much for watching jai hinda